Hello, we are live now with today's Animal Crossing stream. Only 44 minutes late, unlike the hour late yesterday. But yeah, um, so I'm just going to share on all the social medias that we're live, and then we'll get started with today's, with the game. But yeah, welcome on in. How is everyone doing today? Hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. <laughs> um... I guess becoming another, uh, another, um, one of my, what, Ericisms, whatever you want to call it, when I, you know, have to pause to think what day it is. But, you know, you know how it goes. Um, so yeah. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And... Yeah, so we're going to continue with Animal Crossing today. Uh, I don't think there are any special events going on. But, it's just kind of our standard this and that. Oh, and thank you for that host, the Astropath. That is much appreciated, as always. If you aren't already following the Astropath, you should go throw him a follow. He's a... Hello, Canadian variety streamer, pretty cool guy, currently playing Chibi Robo. Anyway, let's get the game going already. Um, and let's bring back the game audio. There we go. Um, ah, Grizzly. I am back. September 12th, 2019. 445, slot A is predatory. That's all accurate. And it's raining, of course. Getting a lot of rainy days. Uh, I mean, real life as well, so it's just that time of year. Okay, Ammonite we already got in the museum, so we'll just be selling that. Uh, another Ammonite. Can't be an Ammonite. We could evolve it to, oh, almost our dinosaur egg. So all just stuff we have. I mean, mostly it's stuff we have because there's only one thing we're missing. Uh, Biff, yeah, move to Meltork. Tomnook is selling a lefty desk, and the Happy Room Academy is not happy with me. The Happy Room Academy is not happy with my room. It's from September 8th, so we've already done that. Tangy, Midge, Freya, Grizzly, T-Bone. T-Bone we haven't met yet. T-Bone is new. Oh, I didn't even notice that, uh, we there, I was just kind of randomly pressing B. That was convenient. I should be rapidly pressing B all the time. Okay. down here don't look like it. Nah. I felt on a thing but got away. Okay. Have we even got we, I think we've had that as the money rock before, but not very often. Money Rock usually prefers to be in one of, like, the later rocks. Maybe, like, one of the middle ones. The, the, no, the fish is still there, I just didn't go after it. That's not gonna work. 
think the fish is still there. It was, but I failed to catch it. Oh well, too bad, so sad. Don't get mad, because you're rad. There is another fish we can try. Hey! Okay, who, t who tossed their shoe, their old shoe, into the river? I want you to come forward and let me know. Because, you know, you need to be more careful with your, uh, where you're throwing away your trash. Otherwise, people like me going fishing and all excited to catch something, and then it's just an old boot. I'm like, nobody wants an old boot twig parasol. What is. Okay. Maybe somebody that wants to catch an old boot, but that's only if they need boots and don't care if it's from fishing them out of the river. But I feel like even if you want boots for free, there's easier ways than like fishing and hoping you randomly catch one. You know what I'm saying? need orange paper. We've got that before. Dragon paper is cool, but again, we already have it in our catalog. Deep sea paper, same. Winter paper, yep. Have that one as well. sell these two things. Oh, I need to... I need to check turnip prices before I forget. No. I wanted to say other things. Seventy bells of turnip. We're not getting great turnip prices. This week. Okay, what do we got to buy here? CD player. Yes, please. 1600 bells. Excellent, excellent. A regal vanity, I'll take it. I'm regal, I'm vain. Perfect. Writing desk. Well, I am a writer. In theory. I practice not so much these days, but you know, maybe someday again. A lefty desk. I'm not left handed, but you know, I can try. I mean, let's be honest. My writing is so messy, it doesn't really matter if I'm doing it with my main hand or my off hand. A blue golf bag. When you're playing blue golf. It's like regular golf, but sadder. As if that were possible. <laughs> A modern chair. Um, I'm not sure how they modernize a chair. Like, I mean, uh, does it have, like, you know, the heated seat or, uh, say does it have heated seating, but really it's like, it is a seat, so like, to say, is it a heated seat? I guess. 
Okay. Tartan rug. Tar tan rug. Could be tarred and feathered and then tanned and I don't know. Uh, steel flooring. Is it a steel? It's quite a steel, is it? Uh uh. Eight Matt Tommy. Let me see it. Oh, well, it's eight. Definitely eight mats. That is accurate. Counting skills are on point. A groovy wall. Everyone always wants a groovy wall, but never a grover wall. No, no. Not feeling that one. Okay. An old brick wall. Just how old are we talking here? Like... Um... Uh, there's, you know, there's like, old, and there's like, old, and there's old. Bamboo. Not much to say with that one, like it means bamboo. We all know what bamboo is. Okay, now I just need to sell back everything I just bought. Nineteen thirty-two. I remember nineteen thirty-two. That was an interesting year. Um, okay, can't really tell anything that I know about nineteen thirty-two as well. Everything I know regarding that year is. Highly classified. Even saying that much is kind of, you know, almost saying too much. Concierge shirt. Ooh. Should I go work at a hotel? A one ball shirt, because I got one ball. Earlier I bought an 8-ball shirt, so I had 8 balls, now I'm down to 1 ball. Kinda, you know, distressing when you think about it. Okay. A gray tartan. Tar... tan. First you get tarred, then you get tanned. Okay, and one final shirt. The cl a classic top. Mm. Seems alright. I don't know if I call it a classic. Maybe a cult classic? Maybe not an instant classic? Maybe just a cult classic? I don't know. I like to sell all the clothes I just bought because I'm not keeping any of them. I just want to raffle tickets. And to add it to my catalog for any that I didn't already have. Probably had most of them. Maybe even all of them, but... Yeah. Okay. And now we go traveling around and around and around. Doing our thing, finding our stuff, everything we want to must bus. Okay. Check for money rock? No, money rock. And so today is we'll be selling all our peaches. Oh, 
Okay. Not the money rock. Tis okay, tis alright. Maybe next time we'll win the fight. Hey, Tangy. Ground hardens us for a rainstorm. Isn't that just a huge lie? Hmm. Okay. We'll go with black. Red is actually my favorite, but that apparently wasn't one of the options. Oh well. We'll get it back to red eventually. No telling when, though. Or how long it'll last. But that is just the way of things sometimes. Okay. That's an improvement over the purple, though. Just these two that are empty, and then after that we'll be having to just fill up the floor. Alright, five o'clock so mail gets delivered. I'm like... What? One hour sale at 12 p.m. on September 14th. Um, that is Saturday. And that is not possible. So I got off work at 12 p.m. So there's no way I'm going to be able to stream that early enough, even weren't for like. Yeah, no. That's just not possible, unfortunately. See, if it was the 15th, I could manage, because I would just go a bit longer with Animal Crossing than originally planned, before switching over to the Summer Quest game. But, yeah, it's not doable on... Uh, Saturday, because of my work schedule. Sad to say. Hey, Dragonfly, thank you for the host. How are you doing today? Let me just throw you a shout out. Okay, let's see now. Sore and recovering. Well, recovering is good. Hopefully the soreness doesn't last for too long. Okay, copper. Let's oh, give you the info. I like pets and kidney stones. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't know and hopefully never do, but. Anything lost. Ooh, a lost item. Furniture. 
Daffodil table. Of course that's mine. Come on, bugger. Who else would own a daffodil ta table? Yeah. Okay. It's weird that like the orange is on the fl on the ground around the pear trees. I know it's because I like used to have pear trees here and then or orange trees here and then switching them out, but first fossil of the day. Oh, we can get rid of this nut ladder, right? Yeah, it's. Useless to us. Okay. And there is the fish. Fish of the acre. Nice. And we're catching, and it's a sea bass. I haven't actually caught a sea bass in a while. It was nice. Not seeing him around. Oh, that's an orange there. <laughs> like, it's also the other ground. I'm like, what is that? But it's an orange. Got him patient. Okay. Well, everything's come along nicely here. Hey, Grizzly. What are you doing here about stopping by the museum? The villagers keep telling me the Harvest Moon is on September 13th, which is tomorrow. But the calendar in my house says it's on the 14th, which is Saturday. So I don't know... I'm, I'm very confused by this whole situation. Like... Clearly, someone or something is mistaken. I don't know why. <laughs> like, is this like some kind of a glitch? Or... Is it actually, like, is there supposed to be a reason that people are telling me? A different day than, like... Than a calendar? I'm really not sure. Hey, Mitch. How's it going? Okay. Tell me, Mitch. When I first came, there was nothing. The empty side of me to bend my will to plant flowers. Is this village not better for my efforts? From Farmer. Mm. I mean, I don't know. Seems kind of... Seems odd, but readable to me. Catch that fish. We did not catch that fish. I lied. I'm sorry. You'll never be able to trust me again.
This one I'm catching though. Large bass. Nice, nice. Much better than a sea bass. Let me tell you. Okay. Don't see a fish here. No worries. Also, we're gonna check out this acre. Uh, so we're good. Those you already talked to him over by the museum. He was having a swellish day. Hey, Ben! Welcome in and thank you for subbing. I am keeping well. Thank you for the resub there. It's very much appreciated. How are you doing? Um. Don't forget that from subbing. Get a sub request vote. Um. And yeah. Let me just mark. Down. Uh, where's my list? Here. Got a little evening work because we could place the throw on the stream. Make your vote. Nice, nice. Today is what the twelfth. Oh, and you still have an unused vote from last time you subbed as well. Because <laughs> I was wanted to go add you to my list or whatever, and I start typing in your name, and, cause, and it was already started autofilling. I'm like, wait, is, it already, is your name already here? And sure enough, it was already there, because you haven't used, I guess, your last one. <laughs> I think the thing you voted for this time may win anyway. Well... Let us see, what did you vote for? There we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> Super Mario 64, yep. Yeah. That does, I believe, that move that up to um, first place. It does indeed.
Okay. Yeah, feel free to use your other uh, vote any time uh, as well, so you can throw in a vote for something else if you so desire. Okay, now where was I? In the game. Oh yeah. I need to check this rock yet, I think, right? I didn't check it yet. Yeah, not the money rock. So it don't matter. We did dig up that hundred bells, which is always nice. Not that hundred bells is much, but you know, every little bit counts. Let's catch this fish. Ooh, an eel. I've been told they're really tough to catch. Yeah, that, that's 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 a bad. That, that's not a pun I like. I like a lot of puns, but that one I'm not a fan of. So, hmm. glowing spot means instant money, instant gratification. Only the money rock, though, which is more. I was gonna say potentially more money. What no. Unless we hit it only three times, it's more money. As long as we hit it at least four times, it's more money. And even at my worst, I've hit you know five times, I think. And that was like really bad. Like it's only like once that I've hit it only five times. Heck, the time a chief ruined things. Even that was a sixer. Damn chief. Makes me so cool. Okay. Wow. Okay, um... Nope, still no money rock. It's gonna be one of those ones where it's gonna be like near the end. Also, just only got one fossil so far today. That is slightly worrying. Our fishing has been sucking today as well, but that, that's that's pretty normal. Here's our new villager, T-Bone. Oh, I know T-Bone. T-Bone is in, um, in Pocket Camp, I think. Okay. So what's everyone been up to this week? Anyone get up to anything interesting? I mean, most of my interesting stuff is, you know, here on stream. Could have be an Animal Crossing yesterday if you weren't here for that stream. That was exciting. Because I've been trying to catch a bee for a while now. Finally succeeded. That's... I mean, it's always great when you succeed at a goal. Uh, how are things? I, I love seeing that message. I don't need to even be seeing it anymore, because, like, I already got the, um, 
golden axe. But I just like seeing that. Everything is perfect. Trantor is a very level place. That just like brightens my mood reading that message. I mean, I play Animal Crossing. Mood's generally already in a pretty good place. I mean, generally just streaming in general. Except for sometimes Blaster Master. Well, there's a few games sometimes that, that can be a bit, uh... What's the word? Frustrating, I guess? Just gotta be careful that, you know... Those games, you just gotta be careful that, you know, you're, you're aware when you're getting frustrated and, you know... The game is just, if you're not feeling game, then that, that might be time to just, you know, end stream early or whatever. It really happens with Animal Crossing, because I don't really have, like, a set end time with Animal Crossing streams. I generally more have, like, a set of things to accomplish. Although even then I'll sometimes end before I accomplish them if it is getting too late. But... It's always the thing with, you know, being a streamer and having a job, having to balance the two things, you know, you need to make sure you're not staying up too late when you're working the next day. Well, staying up too, too late, because I do stay up too late quite frequently as it is, but you need to keep it within certain limits, generally. There was one time, what was it? I guess that was it over a year ago already, where I like pulled an all-nighter. Not not stream related. Um, I think it, oh, it was, I think I was actually watching one of the Marvel Netflix shows. Like it was season two of was it Luke Cage? I think it was Luke Cage. Season two of Luke Cage, and uh, pulled an all-nighter watching it. And then I had to go into work the next day and work an eight-hour shift. I still don't know how I made it through that day of work. Okay. Wow, they are really leaving the money rock for, like, right near the end. Oh, should I say anything? Close that. You know, I can get rid of that. And that. Get rid of older responses to the uh, sub request votes, because if the game's already been played. I mean, I already have the votes marked down, so I don't even need to keep them at all, but it's still nice to have it just so I can be like, oh, like, if I need to go back and check, like, just to confirm something. Okay. Okay, where are we at now? Hey, Freya. I hope it'll be sunny tomorrow. In, in game, I don't care about real life. I'm not leaving the house in real life tomorrow. Don't worry, Freya, I'm actually gonna be missing the sale. I. Unfortunately, because of my work, I'm not going to be able to be streaming Saturday in the app, Saturday at noon. Um, also, being a Saturday, I'll, I'm planning to stream Animal Crossing in the evening anyway for, you know, KK Slider. And I have yet to do two Animal Crossing streams in a single day. Except, unless you count like that time when the power went out, so I had to, like, you know. Those two streams, just in the fact of that power went out and thus the stream got interrupted and had to be restarted because everything needed to be restarted. That was an awkward situation. I was only on for like, you know, like 
20 seconds or something, but it was enough. Okay, we have like three rocks left. We still only have two fossils. Is anyone else getting worried with that? I'm getting worried. Two fossils. Where might the other fossils be? Okay, first we're gonna check... Okay, two rocks left. It's gonna be the final rock. It's the final count rock. Yeah, I'm not seeing the other fossil, or the other fossils, and I just got two. I think I got seven, yeah. Seven bags of money. That'll put me back above 30,000, just barely, though. Just barely above 30,000. Like 31, and then we still have another bag, but I think that's just 100 bag left. Yeah. 31986. Okay. Oh, first one to save a lever. From Biff. Or his old letter. And we want to mail two letters. Actually, we want to mail three. I just haven't birthed the third one yet. Why am I so thirsty today? Like, we're only 40 minutes into stream, and I've already had over half of my drink here. to T-Bone. Oh. Well, I just flew by my head. Briefly landed on my head, but then flew off again. Welcome to Trantor. I sent this basic letter to, like, every new villager. And they all write back saying that they have no idea what I was saying. So I guess they're just not used to being welcomed to villages. It's kind of sad. It's, it, it, being welcomed is, you know, a nice thing. Okay. So next up on the schedule. to sell all of our junk here. What was this again? Yeah, that was him, yeah. Okay, that's, that's a bit better. We're getting, it's not quite at 40,000, but that's still decent. Now, we'll be at 40,000 soon enough, or above it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab... Um, Nine pairs from here. Um, okay, so these ones we've already got all of them, so we'll grab and these ones over here. 
And we're gonna head over to Praetorus, which is my second village. Some stuff there. I am. Oh, well, I'm very excited. Okay. Is just buzzing around everywhere. It's getting kind of ridiculous. But I mean, flies will do as they do. up today, Rover? I mean, have we met before? Rover, we see each other three or four times a day. Sometimes more. Yeah, yeah. How long has it been? Like, a day? <laughs> that much, but, you know. <laughs> but otherwise, you know. Okay. Yay, it's not raining here. sound of rain, or the feel of rain, just really rain in general, not a fan. Okay. What's in the dump here? Froggy chair, cabin low table, okay. I'm gonna grab those later, so we can sell them. Right now we have a full inventory anyway. Going back here. Sell all my pairs. Uh, I think I have forty thousand. So I'm gonna buy out nuts, which is gonna put me back under forty thousand. Okay, what do we got here? Rick Rack shirt. Well, I'm Rick. I don't really have a rack, though. Oh, before I forget. Oh, that's all I wanted to select. Yeah, there is something about. Eighty-six bells a turn. Okay. Not where we're going for, but you know what? It's good to know. Oh, I just remember something else I need to do. Wow, my memory is not good. I keep forgetting stuff and then remembering it at the wrong times. Okay, somebody remind me when I go back. Trantor to get the um the wallpaper from Samantha. From Samantha's gyroid. 
And when I go to Maltork, which is my other, other village. Well, it's my other village. This, is, I think this one is technically my other, other village. Because I created Maltork first for this one. But when I go to Maltork, somebody remind me to also get the wallpaper off of um, Bob's uh, gyroid. Okay. There we go. That's all the furniture. Sell the furniture and clothing back, then we'll move on to the um, carpeting and uh, such. I love how it forms an H in my inventory. Okay, will we be at 30,000? About 3,000 when we're done here. I have this question, backyard fence. Ooh, we very well might be. Prices like that. Depends on what the remainder are, but... Chic wall. Nice, nice, very chic. 1960, good year. Well, it's price, not the year. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Mosaic tile. Take it. Parquet? Parquet? Parquois? I don't know. Either way, we're buying it. Yes, we're about below 30,000 now, but there's a good chance we'll get back above it. Lacy paper we do not need. Hot neon paper we do not need, because neither of those will give us uh, raffle tickets and we already have them, so we don't need them in our, uh, in our uh, catalog. Yeah, everything's at the round tickets. It's exactly what I want to be selling, 1957, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> we're back above 30,000. Nice. Might as well grab that, because we're going to be using that. Um... Yeah, because now we're going to search for the money rock. The glowing spot. And, um. Yeah. Oh, and check if, like, Culver's here, if there's any other special visitors, if there's anything that Lawson found. We're also gonna go by the, um, dump again at the end to actually grab that stuff, but we're not gonna bother that quite yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of a cough, nothing to be concerned about. I said don't be concerned. Okay. Anything? Uh, no, we already got that, yeah, yesterday. Okay, yeah. You don't have any. My uh, Both my other two characters do. Uh, James does not. I was gonna say Rick does not either, but actually Rick does actually have something in his gyroid. Because I planned... This piece of clothing I planned at some point for James to grab, and I just never actually had done that. Gone around to that. What if I, well, I don't even remember which piece of clothing, clothing it was. Okay, I don't really play with play as James all that often. I mean, mainly I just play as Rick, and then if I need something 
extra, I'll play as math. If I need another extra thing, I mean, if it's in one of the other villages, I'll play as. So, like, if I needed something extra here in, um, um, Kratos, I'd play as James. And I did that actually, yes. I did do that yesterday briefly. Just because I realized after I left that I forgot to ask about, um, turn up prices. And I'm like, oh, it's quicker to just switch to James than to travel here and back again. Um. Oh, that is a bug down there. I was like, what was that? That looked kind of weird. But it still looked kind of weird. I think it's just the... I don't know. That sounds like somebody's mad. But, you know... We're all mad from time to time. There's nothing wrong with being mad on occasion. It all depends on, you know, what you do with that anger. You can channel into something um, productive or something destructive. Also, I mean, depending on, like, what exactly you mean by destructive, is like, you know, if, you're just going and like, you know, so you just, you know, go and like, you know, punching, a, li a, a literal punching bag, um, of course, that's, that's fine. Don't like use somebody as your punching bag, that would not be fine, unless it was like, say like, somebody who literally had invulnerability, then whatever. And that'd be a good test for that invulnerability. Or personal force field. Anybody remembers that episode of Stargate Atlantis where uh, McKay found a personal force field and then uh, him and uh, Shepard were testing it out, which we see when like Shepard pushes him off like a uh, off the ledge or whatever, and, you know, everyone's all just concerned, and it's just like, ah, it's cool, I'm force field and vulnerable. So we thought, that, like, you know, when we were like, you thought this was the way to test? Oh, we, we did a lot of other tests first. I shot him. You shot him? In the leg. Uh, it goes on... September 15th. What day is that? Um... Sunday, okay. Well, she'll still be here on Monday when I'm playing, then. Sunday I'll be playing too early, but Monday she'll still be here. Got a lost item, but it's been found by me. What is it? Is it something good? Barbecue. Of course, I'm clearly an expert barbecuer. Barbecuist. I, I mean, I've never actually used a barbecue myself. True story. Okay. Not the money rock. But what about this one? No, also not the money rock. So the um, eastern quadrants, which are the larger quadrants, are done. We're on to the western quadrants, specifically the southwest quadrant, which is the smallest quadrant in this town. Uh, it doesn't even have any rocks in it, but we're still checking somewhat thoroughly just to make sure of, like, uh, if Gulliver is here. And that's all we need to check for, because we already got the glowing spot, right? 
No, we didn't. Did, did we get the glowing spot? Hey, Alfonso. Go back to Trantor, please. Yes. Ah, uh, these are cockroaches. It's, oh no, now you're sad. Oh. Alfonso, he'll be okay. Does anybody remember if I got the glowing spot in here in Taurus? I definitely got it in Trantor. I don't actually remember. I feel like I didn't. Unless I got it before. Unless I got it like before going to the store, but I don't think I did. We're gonna assume I didn't get it. But if we get to the end of town and I still haven't found it, then we'll assume I did. Like... Nice! Seven bags. Exactly what I like to see. Goes back about forty thousand, which is excellent. Okay. Forty-four, four eighty-three. Yeah, we're gonna keep searching. Oh, and there's the long spot. So I hadn't found it yet. Good to know. grab these oranges because I just noticed them. Might as well grab them now. Then we're gonna go sell... We're gonna go grab the, the stuff from the dump and sell that in the barbecue. And then grab another three oranges and head back to uh, Trantor with that. Oh, that's the orange we can even grab, right? Okay, just assuming we don't find any closer. Oh wait, it's, there are other oranges actually just behind the store, so we might grab those. A little some there. So we have options. Six times five. We're gonna be just. Okay, that is an orange tree, but it's hasn't regrown the oranges since the last time I skipped. But there's one right here, so. So we're gonna be just short. No, no, well, actually, we're not. So we'll be above 50,000 before we go over to uh, Meltork. So that's a, that's a good thing. So thirsty today. Um, I wonder if it's just because I haven't. Hmm, I was gonna say if I have, haven't been eating as much today, but no. Well, hmm. I'm not sure how much I ate today compares to how much I eat in a normal day. Hi, Infinite Pudding, welcome in. 
How are you doing? How's it going? Okay. Okay. There's a rover in the back talking on the phone, as he does. Um, kind of depressed that you're making the best of it. Decided to come watch my Alan Cross. Well, yeah, ho hopefully, Alan watching me play some Alan Cross it helps out. Uh, I know playing Animal Crossing can definitely help me out. <laughs> Something on my trip was fruitful. Maybe the fact that I have six oranges on me? He says it's a fruitful thing even if you don't have fruit on you. So the first time I th thought it was, because the first time it would happen, it was like, oh yeah, I had fruit on me that I was bringing back. I'm like, oh, that's like an intentional pun there, isn't it? But no, it was just a coincidence. Because he's down as why he didn't have fruit as well. Okay, so now what I need to do is grab... Oh yeah, Rover is definitely a cat. See what that looks like. We're I don't think we're gonna keep it, but I'm just curious what it looks like. Nice, nice. But no, I like the library well. It is kind of confusing because because you know Rover is normally a dog's name, but. Let's let's see what Google says. Animal Crossing. What is Rover? Um. Uh, yeah. Wikipedia says cat. AnimalCrossing.fandom.com says cat. AC Wikipedia says cat. Yeah, definitely a cat. Everyone is in agreement. Other than your friend. <laughs> Yeah, the cat ca character model. Exactly. Could be like the Disney character, um, Pete, who also has confusion. Who does have, who, there's confusion about whether Disney character Pete is a cat or a dog. Because in the original cartoons, he was definitely a cat. But then, in some later stuff, he, he was drawn more dog-like, especially like when he's paired up with um, Goofy. Yeah. Pete is a cat. Generally, like like I said, it's... He's 
generally a cat, but has sometimes been, um, oh. <laughs> yeah. S -s -s so did I, because, like, my, f my first major ex um, exposure to Pete would have been, like, Goof Troop. And in there, they definitely, like, made him a bit more um, canine than feline looking. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Let's quickly save and continue. So I'm going to be switching the memory card in slot B to travel to a different town. I always like to save before I switch the memory cards, just to be on the safe side in case all of a sudden um, I accidentally hit the reset button or something. Okay, so I'll be right back. Just, I mean, I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just like going out of off camera for like a few seconds. <laughs> We're gonna grab ourselves some pears to bring with to sell. Three more pairs. And now on to Maltork. Okay. We need to remember. Okay. Yeah. So you remember that Bob also has a um, wallpaper in his gyroid for us to pick up. And yeah, otherwise... Should be all good in the neighborhood. I also have a real risk of finishing my drink before I finish stream. I mean, in which case I'll just grab a glass of water for the remainder of stream, but... Um... Okay, now let's, let's see if Rover again does the, um... thing where he has to think a bit to remember me. He's coming over. Hey, have we met before? Yeah, wait, wait. Oh, Pelab, you're, you're Rick from Trantor. It's like, it's from old memory banks. How long has it been? Like, five minutes? Like, literally, like, five minutes. Come on, Rover. Some people. They would remember their own name if they didn't, you know, have it on their driver's license. Okay. Okay. 
do our standard run through. What do we got in the dump today? Hot neon paper, gyroid paper. We'll buy both of them later, or pick up, not buy, pick up both of them later just to sell them, but neither are anything we need. You can actually see on the screen, right under me. What? Oh, no, I don't mean this question on the stream. Under that, you can see the um, stationery that I still need for my catalog. Okay, before we forget. Oh, that is really low. Okay, yeah, we should still be at above 40,000 when we're done here with nuts. I think. I mean, it depends on what y'all has. I want. Okay, cool paper we do not need. What about... Hot neon paper. Was that one wasn't the dump? Fantasy paper. Butterfly paper. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. It's been years since I've watched that show. I still remember that. Remember it like it was yesterday. Cabin clock. Excellent, excellent. So, can I live in the cabin? In the clock? Cabin table to go with that cabin clock. So if like cabin table is just a miniature cabin with a table on top of tabletop of, above it. Okay. I don't even remember what the you know, attention the name of that flat was. So that's the little type of the cabin table. Space heater. This thing will heat up outer space. All of outer space. It's really which is really impressive. Birdhouse. Well, I mean, lots of birds I know in Animal Crossing are a bit too big for that birdhouse. A dirt model. See, even dirt can be a model. Follow your dreams. Carpet. Let's see. Uh, that's pretty regal. Pretty dang regal. Tommy floor. How much do I have that one? Like I have like the eight match Tommy and the eighteen, but just the Tommy floor I don't know about. AT match Tommy. Yep. What was I just saying? Um, regal wall to go with that regal floor. Regal wall isn't as good as the regal floor, though. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. It's a bit of a letdown in comparison. I'm still not a fan of the parlor wall. That's dropping us below 40,000, but I think selling it back will still be able to get back above it. 
ornate wall. I mean... Who are we, like, you know, comparing to Nate? I mean, pretty much anyone ornate, the anyone is gonna come out on top. So we're talking about, like, Nate Haywood from, uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. Oh, that's... Okay, so I don't know, I'm gonna... Well, that does briefly put me up back about 40,000, but the... Shirts are gonna... Um... Be back below it, and I'm not gonna be able to... Get back up from this. I'll also get back up... To... Um... I mean... Depending on how things go with the money rock, I'll very well be back about 50,000 by the time I'm... Done in... Meltork. Which, of course, the preference. Because the more money I have, the faster I pay off my debt. And we're getting close, like, we're a couple days away from paying off my debt. My final debt. Awesome. Then, but that's that's not where our goals end because we still have so much left to do in the game. Um, and if nothing else, like even just for money, because once we pay off the final debt, we can store money in the at the post office like a bank. And when you store the max, then you get the post office model. So that's what we want to be doing. Getting all the money for that. Yeah. yeah it's triple eights in the center of that. It's too bad that we didn't get one bell less, because then it'll be like three, eight, 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 three. I like when num numbers are like mirrored like that. Okay. Onwards to continue adventure. Okay. So we're looking for the glowing spot and the money rock. Also checking for like Gulliver or any other visitors. And, uh, what else? Lost and found. Oh, and right, we have to get the... Uh, wallpaper from Bob's, um, gyroid. I guess check the, um... Bulletin board if there's anything, like, buried somewhere that we actually want. Is it, like, fossils whatever, or whatever. I was gonna say, because, you know, I guarantee... I'm getting three fossils a day regardless, but with how today went, we'll see. I only found two fossils in my main village today. And that's worrying. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so, uh, well, it's probably belonging to one of the sea acres. Okay, we already... Okay. Well, let's... Check the sea acres, then. Please be this one so I don't have to try anymore. Okay. Uh, we need to move this over here to ensure we don't accidentally sell it. 
So that was the, the that was the prize possession, and it's an NES. And you may be like, Eric, you already have two NES games, right? Golf and uh, tennis. Why does that one just say NES? See, this is the NES that isn't actually playable. It's just like for decoration. Unlike the NES games you can get, which is an NES that actually has like game in it in here. But recently, I was looking some stuff up. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've been you know. I've, do a lot of research and stuff in the game to like look stuff up and whatnot. And it turns out that there was actually a, I think it was a relatively recent discovery. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, thanks for the host, Zedball. Welcome in. How are you doing today? How's it going? <clears throat> so yeah, like I was saying, there was a relatively recent discovery that, um... <coughs> a relatively recent discovery that with the NES item, um, there was actually intended to be a way to load any NES ROM through it. You're doing great, that is great here. Like, um, the theory is that Nintendo would have, like, released memory cards or something, or something that would connect through the memory card slot anyway that would have an NES game on it, and then you would play it through just, like, this standard NES, as opposed to, like, the NESs you collect in this game that actually just have a built-in game. But they never actually did anything like that, and, in fact, wasn't even talked about, so it wasn't until somebody was, like, scouring through the code of Animal Crossing and also discovered this, I was like, oh, that's a thing. A very fascinating thing. So yeah, so then using that. So if you're doing, so like, I don't know if there's a way to, if anybody's figured out how to do this on console, but I, know, I was watching a thing with somebody doing it on an emulator that figures out how to um, load was it even on emulator? Or was it even was it even on console? Just hang on, remember now. Figure out how to load NES games and any 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 NES game, uh, pretty much. I, there might have been like some that wouldn't have worked through like various various methods. Just like sometimes you have certain setups that just won't work. Like as an example, um, who who's familiar with like uh, Sonic and Knuckles? Because, like, Sonic and Knuckles was a game for the Sega Genesis, which you could connect another game to. So, like, you would connect Sonic 3 to it. Because basically it was Sonic... Because basically Sonic 3 got split into two games, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. And you connect them to play, like, the full combined game. Um... Ah, here is our new bridge. Um... But what you could also do is you could connect uh, Sonic and Knuckles to Sonic 2, and then you'd be able to play Sonic 2 as Knuckles. Uh, you couldn't play Sonic 1 as Knuckles because of just there because there were limitations on how Sonic 1 was made that they couldn't make it work. But instead, there was some puzzle game called uh, Blue Sphere, I think, or something like that, which you could play when you connected Sonic 1 to Sonic and & Knuckles. And any other set Ega Genesis game, almost, if you would connect it, you would be able to play, I think it was like one or like a few levels of Blue Sphere. See, so Sonic 1, you could play, in theory, all the levels. There's a lot of levels, though, so it's like highly... No, um, would be highly to play, actually play all of them, but like with other games, it's just like it was just one or like ten or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. And then there was there were like two or three games that you, that it didn't work just because of the fact that the combined size of Sonic and Knuckles plus the other game was just too big for the Sega Genesis to handle. Which is you know the understandable reason for something not working. 
Well, the reason I was like looking some stuff up about um, uh, how PS you can play PS One games on PS Two or PS Three, but there are apparently some some games that you there's some PS One games you can't play on PS Three, and there's even apparently some PS One games you can't play on PS Two, which is interesting. Like, not being able to play on PS3 is one thing because of the fact that it uses software emulation, so sometimes just stuff doesn't. Or it uses like uh, or hardware em emulation. So, oh, that. We yeah, had emulated the PS1, so there's just a lot of stuff that, you know, doesn't work out with emulation. But with PS2, it's interesting because PS2 basically plays PS1 games through basically having a PS1 inside it. But I guess there's certain things where there's just something doesn't quite interact right. Uh, September 15. 13th is Friday. Is Katrina going to be in two of my towns on the 15th? interesting. Interesting coincidence. But I mean, I'm okay with coincidences. Honestly, with all the coincidences I run into, though, with stuff happening in both towns, or in two of the towns, on the same day or whatnot. I am wondering if, like, a part of the game's RNG is based on the date. Obviously, there would be other aspects as well that would go into it. That's why, you know, it's not always ideal, but, like, that could be why there seems to be such a high rate. But it could also be that there isn't actually a high rate, and it's just because all the times that it does happen stand out more than all the times it doesn't happen. Hard to say. There you go. Actually, I mean, that's what we needed. We got the money. Um. Yeah. So, say everyone been up to today. Anyone do anything interesting? Stationary from the dump. Forgot the stationary from the dump. How could you, Eric? I trusted you. Well, I should know better than to trust me. I think I would have learned my lesson long ago. Very careful because we do not want to sell this. Apples, which we can sell when we head back to Trantor. Today we're going to be selling, what are we selling, all of our peaches today, I think. That is, I believe, the plan.
Okay. I just had a notification on, on Discord, so I was making sure it wasn't anything important. Or there's just an at here, not an at me. Over, I run into you like several times a day. I, I, I've gotten used to it. Okay. Back to Trantor. Sorry, where it's raining. Ain't the rain just lovely? I mean, some of you might like rain. Just because I'm not a fan of it doesn't mean other people aren't. Okay, first of all, we're gonna drop some of this stuff off at home. You'll notice, I don't play my NES, but I don't have any software. So yeah, so you'd have you'd have like a memory card or something, or something you'd load into the memory card slot at least, which would allow you to play an NES game on here beyond the one that you can just get in the game normally. But yeah, but nothing was ever released for that, so it's just, you know, sit in there. Doing nothing. But hey, it's part of my collection. Okay, is this one full? That one's full. This one's gonna be full. So, everything's full now, so now we'll just putting stuff on the floor. And we're only on September 12th. We're not even halfway through the month. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to start putting raffle tickets upstairs, and pro probably, yeah, we're gonna have a lot more raffle tickets yet before the month is over. Having three towns, you get a lot, and buying everything in the stores every day, at least like everything, like furniture, um, clothing, and uh, and uh, wallpaper and uh, carpet. You get a lot of raffle tickets doing that. Okay, next up, what are we doing? Um, Oh, next up, we're, yeah, we're working on the, um, peaches. You're new. Not often you have somebody move into your village after you've traveled. Normally that means somebody moves away. But this is, I think, the second time I had somebody move in after I got back from traveling. Okay. So we want inventory space. there's any fish or insects we can catch right now that we don't haven't already caught. 
speaking of text, there's a fly walking on my computer screen now, right now. Okay, well, teach selling time. Oh, before I sell peaches, though, I should go. I'm gonna go uh, use literally all the money I currently have to pay off a chunk of my, toward my debt. Because what we're gonna be ending up with is 90,000 fells, and you can only carry, you know, 99,999 fells. So then we're gonna end up paying off another um, sixty thousand after we're done. So we're gonna be done paying off our debt tomorrow. And that is where we are at. That's where we're sitting at right now. Tomorrow will be the day to finish paying off my final debt. And it feels really good, especially because, like, this time I'm doing it all on my own. Because, um, ye back when I played this game when I was younger, I did pay off my debt, but, so, the way I did it, um, see, so I had my village and, you know, hey, I already know she welcome in. How are you doing? How's it going? So what I did, so I had my village where it was me and then also uh, one of my brothers had the character. And my brother played a lot more than me, because he had more free time. And so he was like getting close to paying off his final debt long before I was. But it was my game. My memory card. And, yeah, it was my game, my town, my memory card, all that. So basically I told him, you can't pay off your debt until I pay off mine. So he, looked, so he just started giving me money until I was able to pay off my debt. And then he paid off his debt afterwards. Ghost Recon Wildlands is always nice, nice. Yeah, I'm doing good. Doing some Animal Crossing. Realize I'll be paying off. Finish paying off my debt tomorrow. Assuming nothing like. gets in the way of that. Like, almost when something comes up tomorrow that I'm not. either not able to scream or not able to, like do like a normal length stream, I mean. Not much I can do about it if that if that happens, but as long as I'm doing a normal stream tomorrow. I'll be paying off the debt tomorrow. And getting a gold statue made of me. So that's exciting. Once we pay off the debt, we still have a lot of money to save up to, you know, get the post office model. But, you know, we'll get there slowly over time. Risky tactic? Oh yeah. Definitely sounds rough. Risky. I mean, you know. Sometimes risks pay off, sometimes they don't. Let 
we all gotta be risky sometimes. It's never risk, no, no, no risk, no reward, and all that. You know, you, you need to make sure though that the reward is gonna balance out the risk. Or the chance of reward, I should say. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna do the portion under the cliff. Yeah, then we'll come back up and do the portion above the cliff. So, so we did this first acre complete, but now we're gonna do I will need my fishing rod, I say. I already have every type of fish, and it's not like I'm going to encounter a fish that's worth 10,000 bells. Oh, wait. I may have every type of fish, but yeah, that's... No, that's currently available, I mean. I don't have every type of... Every, yeah, every fish currently available, but... Even though I've already got one of those, that's still worth a decent check of money. I leave and come back. Well, it's well, still here, but if I go back, I don't know if it'll stay if I actually go back and grab my fishing rod. Yeah, well. You know, you win some, you lose some. That's just how things go in this game we call life. Also this game we call Animal Crossing. Also this game we call any games, really, you win some, you lose some. Well, I mean, kind of. Yeah, there's some games that I've, like, I don't, I don't believe I've ever lost a game of Monopoly. Um, I certainly never lost a game of Monopoly when playing by the actual rules and without any house rules. But I've only done that the one time and I won. And when we play with house rules, the games just generally don't end. Monopoly with house rules is the game that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Some people started playing it, not knowing what it, what it was. And they'll continue playing it forever just because. And I'm sorry for getting that stuck in your head now. But really, I'm not sorry. Okay. Wait, let's check if a big fish is still here. I moved over here. No, it isn't. Okay. So yeah, so if I had gone back out the fishing rod and came back, it would have been gone, so. No big loss. Going into lurk? Okay, enjoy your lurk. Is a good decent day for lurking. I mean, any day is a decent day for lurking. Okay. Onwards and upwards and into nooks. Got peaches for you, Nook. A lot of peaches. Peaches and cream. Thirty thousand. So we're at the. Uh, so we've got a third. We sold a third of the peaches to him already. Two thirds to go. Yeah. Basically, run up until we see a peach tree that's empty. There we go. And then go back around. And we're doing all this stuff below the cliff. First, and we're gonna go do all this above the cliff again, starting on the far side and then we're working our way. Towards nooks.
Okay. Why not? I'm starting to get a bit hungry. I, haven't, I guess I haven't eaten since. In about six hours. <laughs> Yeah, because I had something to eat as I was leaving work. And that was about six hours ago, and I haven't eaten anything since I got home. I don't think I have to eat something after stream. Ooh, I, I know what I have. I, I have. Yeah. I have instant ramen, so I'm gonna have some of that. Tree. Once more into the breach. So one, two. Okay. So we're gonna have one more full trip down there, and then one tr lone tree left. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the one more like full trip down there, but then when I have the lone trip, I'm just going to leave it for the moment and then start working on the top side stuff and then grab that one at the end. That's, I think, I think that's what I did last time as well. I think it's a pretty decent strategy. Yeah, if you want to make a decent amount of money fairly easily, just plant uh, fruit trees. Foreign fruit trees. So yeah, I have 12 fruit trees in every acre, except these two. Hey, Khaleesi, welcome in. How are you doing? How's it going? Okay. We got. So, so we have the whole. So yeah. Okay, so 12 fruit trees in every acre except for. Um, except for the lake and the. Um, and the. Um, wishing well. Um. So the top row, well, we're s these two are still pear trees, but these ones are all orange trees. We're slowly switching the top row to oranges. This row is all cherry trees. This row is all peach trees, apple trees. Um, this row was orange trees, and we still have orange trees here, and a few in these two, but not full 12, because they just don't want to grow. But these ones are already pears, because they switch over. And then this is all coconut trees. Pears are my native fruit, which is why initially they were on the top row, but I'm moving them to this row because of the fact that we can't get 12 in these acres. So if I can't, I'd rather have it be with, you know, the tree the tree that I'm not getting as much money from. But I still want the variety just because of the cool, just because of the, just because I want, you know, a row of each type of fruit tree, because I like that idea. But yeah. Okay. Doing good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Anyone unaware, Khaleesi is one of my plant army teammates. Um, we went and raided her about two days ago. Something it was the other day. I have, I have no sense of time. Um, yeah, you should go check her out if. Uh, 
you weren't here when we raided. Um, it's playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you like that game, um, what other kind of games do you all play on your channel? Yeah, no problem. Time to stealth? Oh, good luck, Iron Yoshi. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> let me let me know if you actually it actually ends up being stealthy. Lo loving seeing Animal Crossing. It's it's a lot of fun. I'm very glad I've returned to it after not having played it in like a decade. It's and it's going to take a while to get to to because I'm working on hundred percenting it, which is a you know no small order. Um, okay, that. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know what that actually means, Iron Yoshi. Um, I don't know what a Unidad is, but oh, but I, I assume based on your comment that it's not something good. Close to paying off our final debt. Like, um, it'll. I'm pretty sure it'll be tomorrow that I finish paying off my final debt, which is awesome. Uh, ah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, paying off my deck was going at like, you know, a reasonable pace, not like too fast, until I finished my, or mostly finished my fruit tree setup. And now I'm getting, in addition to whatever other money I'm getting, I'm getting 90,000 bells a day just from fruit. Because what I'll do one day is I'll sell like all my cherries, and the next day sell all my peaches. And the next day, sell all my apples, and then loop around back to cherries the next day. Once I have my orange trees all done, I'm gonna also include them in the rotation. I only need three types, really, for the rotation, but... Because that's how long it takes the fruit to grow back. But I, I, I think I'm still gonna do it. Just, you know, 90,000 a day and just loop through all four, because, you know... It's... Me... Pear trees, of course, don't get included in the loop, because those are my native fruit. Those I just, whenever I'm going to one of my other villages, I just bring pears with me. And coconuts I don't even do anything with. That's just for, like, the uh, atmosphere on the beach. Coconut trees make it look more beachy. Okay. More tropical, as it were. Okay. Because I got this one right over here, yes. Um... Okay, I think that's it for that acre. That's the, that's the thing with uh, the peaches being in the acres by the cliff, is that because I'm separating it so the other, for the other fruit river, because I'm doing it, you know, I'm just doing an entire acre at a time, it's a lot easier to, like, be like, okay, well, it's just three trips per acre, but then because of the cliff, I'm like, eh, I'm not doing an acre, I'm doing, like, portions below the cliff and the portions above the cliff separately. But I mean, whatever. I, I, I get to the end. I get to the end, and I'm not at ninety thousand. I just run through and see what I missed. Yeah. 
So we're like another three trips worth. Uh, then what we're gonna do is do another after this is we'll do another acre of our uh, switching of the pears and the uh, pears and uh, and oranges. And how long have I been alive for? Just two, two hours. I feel, huh? The only stuff I've done today is like you know. Usually I'm like past the two and a half hour mark at this point, or around the two and a half hour mark at this point. Well, I suppose... Hmm. <coughs> Things did go pretty quickly in... Re relatively quickly when I was visiting Protorus, as far as stuff I have to do there. Uh, the Santa... Is that an L? Blanca or Bianca? Is that an L or an I? I think that's an L. Santa Blanca Cartel is your main target. And you guys, at least first, you want to either pick off quietly or avoid entirely. Oh, yeah. Understandable. both of these here and grab these before going over. Okay, so we're almost done with the um the, the selling of the peaches. One more trip. No idea how many, I do not know how many times you are correct. I have no idea. Is it uh, 47 times? But just, you know, random guess. Because, you know, 47 is often the number I pick if I'm just making, picking a random number. Not always, I'll we'll take like 42 or 52. Mm. Or if I'm like wanting a lower number, I'll do like, you know, 2 or 4 or 7 or 11. So you lost count times. That, that's, that's a decent amount. Okay, there we go. The last of the peaches. So now for switching over, we have what? So three acres of orange trees, but we've only switched over two acres of pear trees, I think. I'm just gonna go confirm that. I think we're gonna do a third, switch over the third acre of uh, pear trees. Two, or two pear trees. Just go confirm. So one, yeah, second acre. Yeah, this is still orange trees here. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, that's orange, yeah. That one's an orange, but that one up there is not. 
definitely want to be careful we're not accidentally taking out non-orange tree sets. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Also, here's one of our missing fossils. Um, I'll dig up later because I don't have any paper on me right now to make a letter to the museum. So that was nine, right? Ten. 11, 12, okay, now we want to go grab a full set of pairs to replace those. Actually, wait, I, I can just uh, dig it up and then... Keep it on me. But yeah, so that was one of our missing fossils. So we're currently at, so we're still at two missing fossils right now, because that's the thing. So five fossils appear every day, but if you miss, if you don't find fossils one day, they stay there and then it just goes up, back up to five the next day. So as a result, like, because we're still missing two, that means there will be three new ones tomorrow, plus the two from today will still continue being around. And at least one of the fossils we've been missing for like a couple of weeks now. I'm lucky that was the one that we've been missing for a couple of weeks. Hopefully the one that the one that was just newly missed today is actually still somewhat easy to find. I just got bad luck today or just happened to miss it. I'll find it tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Also for lucky. The other two missing ones will be like behind one of these other trees we still need to chop down. But I don't know if that seems particularly likely. But I mean, you know, one can always hope. There is always hope. Okay. Plant these pear trees. And then So we have two more acres that need to become orange trees, and two more acres that need to become pear trees. So if we do, you know, continue doing one acre a day, that puts us at another um, four days until we're done this project. It's not too bad. I do say so myself. And then we're going to go to the door to the project of trying to get pear trees into more pear trees into the lake and uh, wishing well acres, even though they don't want them. But we have, or right now we have like what, three orange trees in the lake acre. So we'll be able to get three pear trees pretty easily, presumably just by planting them in the same spots. And then two orange trees in the wishing well acre. So again, same dealio. But getting up to 12, yeah, so there's this one right here. 
this one right here and one on the other side of the lake. And pretty much they're all in like the exactly in the corner. Well, not quite. This one has, has a space away from the corner. Um, this one is like exactly in the corner. I'm pretty sure the top one is in the top corner. Up here, we weren't even able to get one in the. Oh, oh we wouldn't have been able to do the top corner anyway because that's like diagonal from this tree, which is one of only two in this acre. is almost again corner just not quite because of the can't put it right up against this wall here and, you know everything is perfect so I don't need to be like it doesn't care about these this these acres I mean and I already I already got the golden axe as you can see but I, I, I want I like having 12 trees in every acre like I set my mind to that, and now even though like it's like, oh, these two acres you can't, you pretty much can't. And I'm doing the pear tree, so it isn't as important, but I still want to keep trying because you know I kind of set my mind to it, and now it's like, oh, well, you know, I mean, like it took us a long time to get the first of the tr each of the trees in each of those acres, and then the second one in each of those acres, and then the third one in the lake acre. But eventually we got them, so you know, keep going at it. Eventually we might get uh, more, and then see how it goes. Uh, got a helicopter up your butt, that sounds uncomfortable. But, yeah. Okay. Oh. I should go grab some more stationery. Just because I only have like the one stack. I just only have two at that. So for next time. I like to keep my stationery. What do we have here? Orange? What do we want? Dragon. Always go for dragon if you can get it. I don't know why I was taking that on my hands. Okay, now... Actually, you know what? What time is it? We are going to make... a list of something that we still... Okay, so we're 307 for... furniture 51... 59, 138, 38, 60 out of 64. You can see below me, oh, I'm below the question of the stream, above the um, bit cup, you can see the state, the four stationary I still need. 34, 24 out of 25. All I need is the, um, is the stego torso, 13. Um, um, yeah, we are going to make a list of what I need. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my phone instead of bringing the list up on, um, on the computer, because this way I'm not, I can still like be paying attention to people are talking in chat. Um, game facts. No, no, that's Animal Crossing Wild World. I want Animal Crossing. Oh, there we go. Why was the Wild World even on my? Okay, so we're going for items. Mm, do no, actually no, we want to do carpets. Because technically. We already have a carpets list. Um, it just was just with Harris carpets. So we just needed one more, but let's see here. Um. 
So what we want is catalog guide. Excellent. Scrolling through, uh, at least your squad makes an excellent distraction. I mean, that's why you have a squad, am I right? This is just in alphabetical order. Item checklist, was that also in alphabetical order? It is indeed. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to copy out the entire list and then we're going to go through it and um, okay so I'm going to put it over here so that there's the room to copy it out okay So, 18 mat to Tommy, 8 mat to Tommy, ancient tile floor, backyard lawn rug, bamboo flooring tile, Basement floor. I'm not going to write down the cart because all of them have like flooring. Well, hmm. actually, yeah, birch. Flooring. It says birch flooring flooring. That's weird. Um, wait, what's up this list? Okay, no, I'm going back to the other one. That one has some weird things about it. So there was an alphabetical order, so I guess I'll pick up from where I left off. Yeah, this one looks much better. 18 mat to Tommy, 8 mat to Tommy, ancient tile. Um, all your squad mates are down now. Well, that's what happens with, um, you know, um, with being um, distractions. They did too good a job. Backyard lawn. Bamboo flooring. Basement floor. Birch flooring. Blue flooring. Boxing ring mat. Cabana flooring. Cabin rug. Ceramic tile, charcoal tile, checkered tile, chessboard rug, citrus carpet, classic carpet, um, classroom floor, Closed road, concrete floor, scroll up, cowhide rug, daisy meadow, um, 
dinner tile or diner tile. Exotic rug. Exquisite rug. Fancy carpet. Um, green rug. Harvest rug. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, no. Harvest rug get from Franklin on Thanksgiving. It just bad um formatting that makes sense okay we're gonna let's see harvest rug imperial tile jingle carpet which we got Christmas Eve another bad formatting thing let's see here Kitty carpet, um, kitchen flooring, kitchen tile, kit, no, how's that spelled? Um, yeah, I like that. Kitchy tile. Lovely carpet, lunar surface, upgrade your squad bolt resistance, seems like it will be helpful. Modern tile, I know it's going off screen now, uh, has since what, lovely carpet, okay. Modern tile, but I mean we're gonna be going and once we're done going through here then we'll go cross stuff off. Mosaic tile, mossy carpet, music room floor, office flooring, old flooring, opulent rug, ornate rug, palace tile, or at our said floor, playroom rug, plaza tile, almost like a, almost like a pizza tile, mm, pizza, plush carpet, ranch flooring, red tile, regal carpet. Hera's Desert Sand Garden Sand Lot Shanty Mat Sidewalk Slate Flooring Snowman Carpet Spooky Carpet Steel flooring, stone tile, tartan rug, tatami floor, tropical floor, western desert. Okay, so we've gone through, copied out the list. Um. I'm gonna move it over there so it's a bit more readable. Just, uh, yeah. To read it more readable against the red than it is against the yellow. Okay. So now let's see here. So we have a plush carpet. We've gotten the plush carpet. So we can cross that one off the list. Classic carpet. Um, 
Old flooring. Red tile. <coughs> Birch flooring. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, classroom floor. Lovely carpet. Exotic rug. Mossy carpet. 18 mat tatami. 8 mat tatami. Citrus carpet. Cabin rug. Closed road. Uh, lunar surface. Sand garden. How much is it on screen right now? I've got the plaza tiles on screen. Uh, Western Desert. Green Rug. Blue Flooring. Regal Carpet. Ranch flooring, modern tile. Now I'm just kind of listing stuff off here and crossing off the list. Let's just get a modern tile. Cabana flooring, but this is definitely going to make things easier to track in the long run as we get stuff like this listed out. Backyard lawn. Plaza tile. For what? Well, because I'm trying to get, trying to 100% the game, so it's nice to know what I'm missing yet. Kitchen tile. Ornate rug. Tommy Floor. Also, welcome in, Death Dude. How's it going? How are you doing? Bamboo Flooring. Kitchen Flooring. Charcoal Tile. Stone tile. Imperial tile. A lot of tiles here. Opulent rug. Slate flooring, not bad, good to hear, good to hear. Uh, slate flooring. Fancy carpet. Cowhide rug. Steel flooring. Steel flooring, okay, we'll go steel flooring. <laughs> Office flooring. 
Ancient Tile. Exquisite Rug. Sandlot. Daisy Meadow. Uh, sidewalk. Mosaic Tile. The one I don't know how to pronounce. Parquet Floor? Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, basement floor. Chessboard rug. Kitty carpet. Shed hey, basically Berkeley. Thank you for that raid. Welcome on in. How was your stream? Uh, hey, Snicker Man. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, basically Berkeley, she's one of my Plant Army teammates. Um, go give her a follow. What were you doing? Let me just see here. Basically, there we go. Like Splatoon 2. How was Splatoon 2? How did that go? Uh, that's Splatoon 2. Nice. Yeah. Great. Good to hear. Good to hear. Okay, alright. Yeah, I'm currently just going through and um, checking what flooring I still, carpet I still need in Animal Crossing here. It's a shanty man we have. Concrete floor. Uh, Sahara's desert. Tartan rug. One as well as expected. Made a new friend. Nice. Always nice to make new friends. Tartan rug. Palace. Tile. Tropical floor. Uh, someone stole your GameCube. Ooh. That sucks. Uh, playroom rug. Kitchy tile. Diner tile. Boxing ring mat. So that's everything we have. So, yeah, we don't have a lot of, um... So the game and the controller though, yeah. Can't replace the controller. Oh yeah, has a lot of memories of beating your friends at Melee. Oh nice, nice. So there's not a lot of carpets we have left. I'm actually surprised, let's see. We don't have, let's see. Ceramic checkered. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we don't. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly scroll through and check. The others are all like special stuff. So that, those ones I know I don't have. Yeah, okay. So then let's see now. See a checkered? I'm pretty sure that is just normal, right? Checkered tile, yeah, that's just a normal one. Ceramic tile, yeah, that's just a normal one. Um, harvest rug we get at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Jingle carpet we get Christmas, I assume, yeah. Or Christmas Eve. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, go spend time with your most then. Um, I understand completely, and thanks again for the raid. Um, yeah. Uh, probably won't be on much longer anyway. Music room floor from Sahara. Which is the only one we have left from Sahara. Snowman carpet. Um, snowman. Spooky carpet. Uh, that's Halloween. So we're only missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means there's a total of six D6 carpets. I think that makes sense. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Ah. I mean I copied from the list, so <laughs> I'm not actually kind of because I also realized, oh wait, there's the spaces that where it was the, had bad formatting. Uh, wasn't sure if I, whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's all we're missing for carpets, which is not bad. Um, wallpaper, which I'm assuming has a similar number. I think, actually no, I, I remember I counted them up the other day. I think they were one off in their totals. Which means wallpaper, I'm missing a few more, which makes sense as well, because Wendell, you can only get three carpets or three wallpaper per visit, and it's random, so you can easily get duplicates. Um, with Sahara, you can get as many as you can afford, although the prices keep going up with each one, and but you can also. Um, well, there's still RNG, you can like back out until you get the one you want. Which is why we literally just have one Sahara carpet left. Music room floor. So that's not too bad. We are making uh, progress. Uh, I'm not going to make another list today. But I just, you know, wanted to make that. So I, I want to start, I or I wanted to be making some more of my lists. So we have we have lists now for what we need for the stationery, which is just four for the wallpaper, and then also for the fish and the insects. So next time we'll probably do the wallpaper list. Then probably items. We'll see where we go from there. Do the fossil list. Stegosaurus torso. Okay, the list is done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll replace... Also we'll replace all the trees in this acre with orange trees. Continue on with that project. But yeah, this is a good point. So uh, I'm gonna go del deliver those two letters. Uh, first deposit. Okay, I want to have still... 30,000 left. Yeah, so... Yeah, we are easily going to be paying... Finish paying off our debt tomorrow. Easily. Oh wait, I, I still wanted to mail a letter.
like... Even without my, like, 90,000 bells from Root a day, I might have... I might be paying... be able to pay it off tomorrow. <laughs> Just from, like, the other stuff I do. It's hard to say, though, because that, that can kind of vary depending. Like, today I got really lucky in that I got... Um, seven bags of money from the f money rock in all three of my towns, so that really helped out. Okay. This is where we're gonna call it. Um. Going for two hours, 40 minutes, which is a decent length for the Animal Crossing streams I do. Um, I will be back tomorrow with um, with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog at 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Play that for a couple hours, then switch over to Animal Crossing, continuing with this. Um, then on um, on um, Saturday, I'll be doing the Star Wars RPG at 4 p.m. Oh, thank you for the follow, Death Dude. That is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, see you later, Iron Yoshi. Yeah, so Saturday, 4 p.m. with the Star Wars RPG and then Animal Crossing after that. This Sunday will be Animal Crossing in the morning. I want to say 10 a.m. And then Subber Quests game afterwards, which currently Super Mario 64 is winning. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, the rest of the schedule for next week will be posted on Saturday as per usual. Next week's going to be a weird one for my stream schedule because next week is a weird one for my work schedule, so... But that is what it is. Uh, we are going to go raid somebody, so if any of you want to join me on the raid, that would be very much appreciated. Obviously, don't feel you need to, um, you don't need to join me, but it's always nice to, like, pass on the love to another streamer, and, uh, I mean, there's a lot of wonderful streamers out there, and who do we want to raid? Um, okay, let's see now. Could raid someone playing Alien Isolation. Somebody playing Final Fantasy X slash X or 10 slash 10 to HD remaster. Um Nintendo. someone playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Someone playing Final Fantasy 6. Someone playing random SNES games. Cat, I'm not sure what game he's playing at the moment, but he's just doing retro. Um, someone playing Ocarina of Time. gonna do one of them. Anybody in chat has a preference to any of those games, just let me know. I'll we can go read that person, otherwise I will choose myself. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, if you have a preference to one of those games, just let me know. Otherwise... Otherwise I have to use my own decision-making abilities, which is a problem. I, 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 I traded in my decision-making abilities years ago. <laughs> uh, streamer's pick. Okay, thanks, Root Ninja. <laughs> Think 
we're going to go raid Ben. He's playing Final Benjamin Ten. He's playing Final Fantasy Six. Uh, he stopped by earlier and subbed, so that's always, you know. That's, of course, awesome. Um, playing Final Fantasy VI blind, so I guess it's the first time. So, um, we're gonna go raid him. So, if anybody wants to join in the raid, you can copy and paste that raid message. Yeah, like I said, I will be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time with Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, Thanks everyone for coming out. It's been a blast. Thank you to those who chatted or even just lurked, those who followed, those who subbed, those who hosted or raided. Yeah, we had a lot of a wide variety of stuff happening this stream. Uh, it's been a blast. Uh, thanks everyone for coming out, and yeah. Bye.